every Grand Slam has its weather problems. While rain may stop play at Wimbledon, at the Australian Open it's the sun that causes officials headaches. Australia is experiencing a heat wave, with temperatures expected to reach 43 degrees centigrade over the next three days. It's boiling, like I'm sweating real bad, it's disgusting, but yeah, it's hot. It's a bit warm, but we shouldn't complain, we didn't come here for it to be cold, so uh, yeah, it's good. Ridiculous. It's We're so hot. <laughs> dripping <laughs> and dripping. sweating. It's almost unbearably <laughs> hot. Yeah. A warm wind <laughs> yeah. and it's not going away and the temperature is yeah. rising and rising and standing in the sun now, I'm burning. Yeah. There are plenty of places to keep cool in Melbourne Park. As this uh, ball boy is demonstrating, the misters offer a brief respite from these sauna-like conditions. There are also drinking fountains all over the park and plenty of shade as well, which is great for the supporters. The players, though, aren't so lucky. Even though it was windy, the wind was like hot wind. Like I said, just don't blow it because it's like even hotter, just stop. You know? But you normally expect a little bit of, I don't know, some freshness, I don't know what, but it just didn't come <laughs> from anywhere. I put the bottle down on the court and then it started melting a little bit underneath. So the plastic, so you knew that it was warm. Get your sunscreen! Sunscreen! The Australian Open operates an extreme heat policy based on a measurement known as the wet bulb globe temperature, which takes humidity into account. Despite the high temperatures, one player fainting, and another being sick, tournament officials decided not to suspend play. I think they should have some kind of a rule, you know, that, you know, to help the players, you know, play at a higher level and, you know, enjoy their time more on court. Because I don't think you can really enjoy when your, your head is, like, going to explode. <laughs> the weather hasn't put the fans off who have been doing their best to keep cool, and they'll have to continue to do so as the forecast remains the same for Wednesday and Thursday. Alex South, BBC News, Melbourne.